guys, Robert Bat one here, coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, we are looking at possibly one of the most broken cards Konami has ever released. Now, this is a type of card that you would expect to be seen made at the beginning of a game. Whereas it has such a simple effect that simple effects are just broken in general. Um, cards like Pot of Greed, Harpy's Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Rageki, um, Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force. These type of effects back in the day that were just completely insane. And Konami had been like, oh, we're going to give you a card that has those some of those silly effects. And just make it broken. And today we're going to be looking at Lightning Storm, a card that Konami is releasing in Ignition Assault. So it's about four, three, three four months away until we will get these, this card in general. And I have to say this now. This is one of the most broken cards that I have personally ever seen Konami come up with, out with. Like, we've seen cards like Maxi. We've seen cards like... Uh, anything that says search in the game that just is really broken. But this card, this card is, takes the cake. And basically, this card is Lightning Storm, as I said. Um, its effects are this. If you control no face-up cards, so you can't control face-up monsters, spells, traps, anything that's face-ups, you can still activate this card if you've got set cards. Um, activate one of these basic effects. First effect, destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. This card can just be like, hey, that's a nice attack position board you got there. Um, you got a Sunlight Wolf? Oh, okay, nice, nice. Uh, you ain't got Bailings and Grievance Gun. Um, you got a, uh, you got anything else good? Uh, you got a, um, you got a, uh, you got a uh, Dark Wolf? You got Dark Wolf? Yeah, 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 my love. Dark Wolf's good. Dark Wolf's good. Um, you got a, you got a, you got a, you got a, you got a Galatea? You got a Galatea? Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's not here anymore. <laughs> it's like, this card destroys every attack position monster. And I admit, that's not one of the most powerful effects. It's a basically lightning vortex without the discard cost. But this card having the effect to just disc just destroy all attack position monsters being a basic effect like this is insane. Because it has the effect to just, if your opponent summons anything in attack, they have to either protect it through some means, or they have to just get rid of it. If you're up against the deck like heroes, this card deals with it. If you're up against it, deals against it deals with the heroes. It gets get rid of, get rid of your uh, uh, Dark Lord, Dystopia, Dread, Dread Decimator. If you're playing something against um, something like I don't know, uh, Solomon Great, and they ain't got the Bailings in the grave. That's all the monsters gone. Uh, if they were playing against Thunder Dragon, and they ain't got any Thunders left in the grave because they play Dimension Shifter now, so. If they put these monsters in attack, the Colossus is in attack position, those monsters are now gone. Um, if you're playing against any Link-based strategies that can't, don't really have a lot of protection, this card just wipes all the Link monsters in general. That, like, that basic type of effect is insane. But what makes this card even better, in my personal opinion, is the second option of this card. Which says, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. You can only activate one of this card per turn. So, not only does this card have the effect to just destroy all attack position monsters, Mirror Force, Lightning Vortex effect, whatever you want to call it, this card also has an effect to Harpy's Feather Dust to your opponent. Konami, you can't give us Harpy's Feather Duster, but you give us a card that literally says, I'm going to destroy your background. What does this card mean going down the line? Any control, stun, back row, floodgate deck is done. You now have an out to true, all the true Draco floodgates. You now have an out to that autogeist back row that your opponent has, unless they have judgment, then problems there, but still. You now have an out to all those cards set off multi-roll and the multi-roll itself. You have a card that can counter any deck that runs back row. Konami made a card that literally says Harpy's Feather Duster 
and Raigeki or Lightning Vortex. That is insane. This card is good against pretty much every deck in the format. This is a staple free of because it's just so free. And sure, the restriction to control no face up cards may be a bitch at times. But let's be honest. Having no face up cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! is pretty easy. And that's just insane. Having a card that literally says, my opponent may go first, but I'm just going to win. That's insane. And, like, I know this card doesn't really do very well against decks that play a load of negates. Um, decks that can just really counter this card very easily. Um, negation, anything along those lines. But having such a simple effect like this is insane. Like, this card m reminds me of something similar to something like Dark Ruler No More, for instance. It's a card that lets you go second against a de the majority co control decks, stun decks, and anything that plays floodgates in back row but it's busted because of the simplicity of its effect like dark ruler no more for instance it's got a very simple effect negate all face up with cards on the monsters on the board it's busted because you can't chain to it with monster effects but this card this card right here just gets rid of problems it gets rid of back row. It gets rid of monsters. Having a card with such a simple effect is insane. It reminds me of all the way back in like 2002 or 2005. Like just cards released around that era. Where they were just really... Cards with just really insane effects. Like very simple effects that were very insane. Like back in the day, cards like Dark Hole, Raigeki, Heavy Duster, um, Heavy Storm, Giant Trunade, Harpy's Feather Duster. These cards were insane. And this card gives me that same vibe. And a lot of the cards... And some of the cards I just mentioned are still on the ban list. Specifically, Giant Trunade, Harpy's Feather Duster, and Heavy Storm. But with a card like this that says... I'm just going to wipe all your monsters in attack position, or I'm going to destroy all your back row. That's insane. And honestly, having a card like this is very cool to see. Like, honestly, seeing Konami make a card that just says no to all your back row is honestly a really dumb thing and a really kind of good thing at the same time because it means that a lot of these decks, a lot of players are now going to have to play a lot more safe and a lot more cautiously because, um, with Konami getting rid of cards like Max C, with Konami getting rid of cards like uh, Harpy Surf Duster, Ru H Dark Hole, and everything along these lines, players don't have no real have no real fear. Like right now, only the only thing that players really have is fear against the Biru, and like, people are playing around it. But no combo control deck has a fear card, and no no decks like that have a card that literally says, "I'm scared of this card." Outside of maybe Twin Twister, but nothing that's so free that you wouldn't care. And that's what this card does. This card gives decks like Altergeist, Sky Striker, True Draco, anything along those lines, something to be afraid of. And that's kind of why I like this card. It's a card that says that. It's a card that literally says you have to be scared of this card. You have to kind of play around it. No, we're not going to be seeing anyone set five cards anymore as soon as this card releases. Because if you're playing that card, this card that will most likely be a staple main or side of as a free of, it's going to be a Kafir card. And that's something good. I admit it doesn't do much against combo decks, um, seeing as you can just put all your monsters in defense mode. Um, I admit it does, uh, doesn't do a lot against those types of strategies. But... Having a card like this, that just says destroy all back row or destroy all attack position monsters, such a basic effect is just scary in general. Um, but guys, that's my thoughts on this card. This card is a really awesome card that honestly I can't wait to come out in the game because it's just going to be something that will make players, Yu-Gi-Oh players, play more cautiously. And that's something that you don't see nowadays. Play is playing very cautiously. So it's a very cool card to see that will be coming out later on in the game. But guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, tell me all your thoughts on this card in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions because this card is insane and I need, I want to know what you guys are going to do with it or think what it's best against. Um, but guys, as I said, my thoughts and opinions, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Lightning Storm, you're an insane card. Later, guys.